beautiful music from Kanga, as always. Um, so here is a bird story, and this game is pretty anticipated by me and by a lot of other people. It's the pre-sequel, I guess, to uh, the sequel of a game called To the Moon by Khan Gao. Uh, and this is also made by him, and the beautiful music by him as well. Uh, it's an hour-long short, basically, uh, meant as a bridge between the first To the Moon game and second ep uh, game of the series, or episode is what it's called. Um, and that one hasn't been announced, but the boy in this game is the patient that will be in the second game. Uh, and it's an hour-long short about a boy, basically, who finds a, a, a injured bird. And I don't know, really. There's nothing really else about it other than there's no dialogue. So let's begin. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. So just use spacebar, escape, and enter. Okay. Find my me. Easy to use controls. Oh, there's no dialogue in this game, so um, no words. That should be interesting. Usually it's pretty easy to make commentary on. Uh, ooh, you're climbing out of a tree. That seems dangerous with how high up you are. Uh, ooh, birdies. Hello, birds. And so the story about birds begins. Uh, yeah, it's usually easy to make commentary when there's words on in a RPG, but when there's not, it's a little bit harder. It's got a paper airplane. We. The game plays at 480p, uh, 4 to 3 aspect ratio, just like the old one did. I mean, just like To the Moon, not the old one. Okay, going inside. Going to sleep, maybe? Yep. Well, that was the tree, the last thing to fade out. Is the tree a symbol? Wouldn't surprise me. You're a boy. Oh, I guess this is your room. Never mind. I thought that was like the whole apartment for some reason. <laughs> Snoozing time. Yay. Wait, didn't you already shut off the life? The light, not the life. You shut off your life. Oh no. No. Yeah, this game is supposed to be about a bird, basically. A boy and a bird he finds in the woods. Oh. Suddenly we're in the woods. Uh, I don't know what else is going to be in the game other than this bird, but it's just a series of events of a boy and an injured bird. Um, and that's all that's really been said about it. Okay, so he was dreaming of a forest, I see. Maybe he lives in the city and just dreams of being somewhere else because he's bored of the city or something. Not sure how old he, the boy is in this, this current timeline. Does he have gray hair? I didn't notice that before. Whoa! This is a dream. Time clock. Oh, I can move around now. Shadow, come back. Oh, what the heck? What's with the movement? I'm hitting the left arrow key and the person's not facing the right way. Whatever. Oh, is it because we're going backwards in time? Oh, yeah, I get it. Cool. Okay, there's a paper airplane. Riding the paper airplane backwards. There's a bird on my head. A bird shadow. Hello, bird. How are you? Okay, pieces of paper going into my body. The thing here. I can only go in one direction. I can't. Oh wait. I was gonna say I can only go in one direction. It didn't let me go up before. And there's weird parts of me splitting off. Okay, lights going off. Uh, there's me and a bird again. I'm assuming. There's a bird there. Um, okay, so, probably gonna upload this whole thing in one episode, or one video. Ding. What's the time for? It's, it says three o'clock. Okay, we're in a classroom. I feel like the timeline of this game is gonna be really confusing. I mean, we're... Wait, are we still in a dream? <laughs> I hope we're still. Yeah, we must be still in a dream. That's why the clock on. Because the clock in the wall right now is the same thing as what the outer building did. So I'm assuming we we're still in a dream. Uh, 
slipping pages. Okay. I love the sound effects of the... That feels like a graphic from the, the To the Moon. I love the sound effects. There's like flipping pages, some birds chirping outside, chalk on the board from the teacher. Which, like, no teacher does anymore, because all... Wow! You stole my fucking airplane, you ass! <gasps> oh no. We're screwed. You've effed yourself. Oh. Wait, what the heck was the freezing and the ding? I don't know. Square root of 1,764 equals cat. I agree. <laughs> I love the sound effects. I like how the kid just pointed. It was him. I mean, I didn't make that. Uh-oh. I did make the airplane. Oh, because she didn't want me to walk away. That's why I was confused what happened there. <laughs> I hope I don't have much trouble piecing together events without the dialogue. Is it recess or something? Lunch, maybe? Still a dream? I don't know if this is a dream. Pondering in thought. Okay, we can wander around now. Uh, I'm assuming we can't go here. No. Okay, wait. Nope, we're just stuck in the shadows. This music is awesome. Oh! Screw you, woman! I'll do what I want. <laughs> Ha! Ah, suck. It. Teacher. Is there a tree? Is that, what the hell is this? What are these? Trees? On locker trees or something? Oh. Okay, this is definitely a dream. <laughs> I see. It's a weird, just an interesting transition. Okay. Okay. Just walking around. Oh! We can vaporize them! Yes, let's kill them all. Uh, the original to the moon affected me. Or it didn't, like, affect me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a great game. Amazing story. Um, very interesting in general. Okay, they're reappearing. Never mind. Uh, okay, so this is just a playground, I, I guess. Very weird and dirty playground, though. Man, the sound effects are great, though. And the music is great. Wait, am I supposed to do something? So I can't leave. Um. Oh! There's a me over there. Or is that someone else? Hello. That's a me. Okay. So, I'm dreaming about memories, it seems like. Uh, don't know why, but I am. Can I walk again? Okay. Don't know what the point of that was. There's a crater there. That's weird. Um. Hmm. Okay. Just keep on moving. So am I wandering through the woods when I'm not supposed to? Or maybe school's out now. I don't know. I suppose it's pretty much irrelevant. Seems to be a bunch of people going in the woods, though. It's a very strange pathway in the woods, by the way. It's like a cobblestone pathway into the woods. <laughs> what woods has that kind of pathway? Okay, apartment building now. Is this the building we live at? Uh, okay. Hit the elevator button. Oops. Okay. Why did I have to hit the elevator button when this guy was there before me? Lazy asshole. <laughs> Just sits there and waits until someone else can hit the button for him. <laughs> I scooted away from him. Okay. Man, this game is about noticing little details, apparently. Yeah, but I don't know if that scoot away is port important, but... Okay, now we have ominous sound effects, and the lights are flickering. I'm scared. Not really. Uh... Don't think we can enter there. Oh, nope. 
Never mind. What are those? Rats? Hey. This is my apartment building? Hmm. Okay, we go in here, I'm assuming. Yes. What's going on? There's some light in the window. Seems to be accenting the carpet. Or it's just a nice lighting effect. I am thinking too much about it. <laughs> so, where's my bedroom? This is my apartment. There's a note on the fridge. Th oh, come on, this is dial. Oh, I was going to say this is dialogue, but it doesn't even show it. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Let's go over here first. To the bedroom. Okay, how old am I? It's like, where are the parents? Where are my parents? Oh, we turned on the light. Yay. There's a book on the bed. I cannot interact with it. Oh, turn it off the light. What the heck? <laughs> Just peeking my head through the door. Is anyone coming? Did mom and dad see I was in their room? <laughs> it's like typical kid jumping on mom and dad's bed. I mean, I assume based on the size and the styling of the room, that is mom and dad's bed. <laughs> so where are mom and dad then, though? Oh, there's my room. Okay. Okay. I see. So we're still dreaming? Or imagining? Or what? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Gotta eat some spaghetti. Oh, come on. I have to do it for you. By you, I mean me. I mean, I suppose I am... Yeah. I am him for the intents of this playthrough. He just didn't feel like animating the walk into the couch or something. <laughs> okay. So it faded to black just so I can put him on the couch. Whatever. Oh, another fade to black. Woo. Okay. I feel like I achieved a lot in that time span of 30 seconds. <laughs> Ooh, new music. Writing or reading? Probably reading. Yes, reading. It's just flipping up pages and no writing sounds. Isn't this game's attentiveness to sound effects? I feel like there would be a writing sound if he was writing. Oh, he's making a paper airplane. Oh, running around. Imagination. I still have a really big imagination, actually. Uh-oh. Did you hit someone again? Do-do-do-do. Okay, obviously in this game, airplanes are a symbol. Or airplanes, uh, paper airplanes. You just gonna leave it in the floor? Wow. What a dirt bag. He's got this huge clock on the wall. Look at that, how big that clock is. I mean, he's probably at least four feet tall. That clock looks like it's about three feet wide. Diameter. <laughs> it's a massive clock. Okay, now he's writing. I can see the little black pixels of the pen. Okay. Ooh. What the heck? That was a blanket. All right. Am I never going to see my mother and father? I mean... I don't know what the context of this game is. The 15 minutes, though. I suppose I talked for a few minutes beforehand. Um, oh, alarm clock. Oh, shut it up. Oh, man, your aim is fantastic. Amazing. Why is your shirt glowing? I feel like your shirt was glowing, or your bag. I saw something glowing. I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining something. I have no idea. Ooh. Oh, it's the blanket. That's why. Okay. Wow, mom and dad didn't even fix their bed. It's showing a bad example of the kid. That's making the kid think he doesn't have to put his sheets in order. Which I mean, really, it's rarely necessary unless you have people coming over. Anyways, just leave. 
or not. Okay. What's this? This is like tuba in the back of our baritone. Do, do. Then I was supposed to leave. Where am I? Oh, I need my bag. That's why. And I'm just an idiot. I've actually left home. There was one time I left home school. Or left my home from school without my backpack. That was a fun day. Didn't have my math book. Didn't have my calculator. Oh, what do you need now? You, uh, fine. Take your damn paper airplane book. Oh. So the paper airplane is flying you. Huh. Cool. Pretty good at sketches. Gotta say that. Fridge. Might as well get some breakfast. Muffins. Yay. Three muffins. Okay. Is muffins like health or something? Oh, there's a note on the door. Bring an umbrella. It's just a fetch quest. Nope, it's right there. Never mind. Didn't have to fetch it. Oh, what are you doing? What? You... Oh. Okay, so here's some weird transitions again. Ugh. I suppose I should have paid attention to that, but... How was I supposed to know? I didn't realize there was lights there. Man, these are transitions. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Let's just sit down. Stop wasting time. There we go. Okay, what are you going to draw? Square root of... 774 equals dog? You... Man, it's, what time did you go to sleep? I suppose it was implied that he went to sleep late, though, since he fell asleep writing. Or making paper airplanes. Or drawing. Not sure which. Man, you slept through the whole thing. I've never slept through a whole class before. I mean, I've slept for, like, maybe five minute... Uh-oh. Like, maybe five minute areas, but... Never a whole class. You screwed yourself again. Ow. Wow, what... <laughs> I will call the police, woman. So we had to go right since we went right last time. Um, wow, she just she literally kicked me in the ass. A grumpy lady. I can hear the rain. It's raining. It's pouring. Now, am I just being slow? Or am I really 15 minutes through this game already? Space bars jump. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, I haven't jumped in a puddle since I was like six years old. By I, I mean me personally. Amazing. I've always wanted to jump in a role playing game. You're rarely able to jump in a role playing game, it's only directional movements. <laughs> By rarely, I mean in classic role-playing games like Final Fantasy, uh, Pokemon, whatever. I hope I'm not being slow, because I'd like to give this video not be over an hour. But, I don't know. Like, when are we going to find that injured bird? I mean, we're a fourth of the way through the game. Oh, apparently. Uh, I still don't understand if, like... Is this still a dream? <laughs> like, oh, I can't jump anymore. Oh no! It's a badger! It's running after a bird, you asshole! Stop it! Rawr! Go away! My bird! Oh, you fell down, you idiot. Okay. Badger is gone. Now there's a bird. Hello. Is it injured? I'm assuming it's injured since I was in the summary. Chirp, chirp. Oh, it just coincidentally it stopped raining. Like it's a significant moment or something. Oh. See, normally birds would be more scared if you scared away the thing. They wouldn't be trusting, but... I don't know. It's like a quail, or what is this bird? I suppose that's probably not relevant. Oh, it still is scared. Never mind. That's wrong. See, it just seems like it's injured, hurt his wing. It looked like it was flexing one wing, one wing before. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. End the game right here. <laughs> yeah. Leave the bird alone. Hopefully it's li it'll live. It'll be fine now. 
No. Oh, damn, Badger. <laughs> oh, man. They hid in my bag. Oh. And unknowing me doesn't realize the bird is in my bag. I'm just going to leave home with the left. Last year I found a bird in my parents' house. My parents have a barn. There's lots of like nests around. So there's this bird that I heard of, I heard flapping in the and I was I was feeding our dogs and I heard flapping. And it turns out oh, hello bird. It turns out there's a bird hanging from a nest by its like one of its foot. One of its feet, not one of its foot. And it was hanging by fishing line and just flapping around flailing. <laughs> okay, magical moving trees again. Okay, what, whatever. So the magical woods of movingness. They don't even have legs, they just have, they just move. It works for me. Oh, it's a veterinary clinic, okay. Heal the bird, I suppose. Fix it up. Enter. Knock, knock. Who's there? We don't deal with birds, we only do pot animals. Like the square root of 1,764. There's no one here. Really? It's a vet and there's no one there? I mean, I don't know what time it is, but... Really. Where am I supposed to go? Okay. No one there. Let's keep on moving. Uh, anyways, I had a bird. It was caught by a fishing line. And I cut it free. And my, par my parents were there watching, because I told them about it. Uh, I cut it free with some scissors, and it was flailing around like a big doofus. And it was not prepared to be... It was hanging from its feet, and it was not prepared to be it suddenly let go. So it fell down and flailed around, and it almost hit the ground f flat on its face, but then it swooped up in the last minute and almost, like, smacked my mom right in the head. <laughs> uh, and then after that, it, like, flew for a little bit, like, soared around for a little bit, and then it fell in the grass, so like, a, maybe a hundred feet away. And then... My dad's dog, asshole hunting dog, chased after it and grabbed it in its mouth. There's this bird which was flapping around which had a hurt foot and laser eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh, no pets, that's why. Be quiet, bird. Oh. Gotta be quiet, bird. Don't chirp. Enter. This is the same guy that looked at me before. Same lazy asshole didn't hit the button himself. Anyways, uh, so yeah, the bird got taken by the dog. <laughs> the guy did the opposite of what I did before. Um, yeah, the guy did the. It was the bird. It was taken by by the dog, and the dog luckily did not eat it, did not kill it. So I took the. I yelled at the dog. Got the bird out. Hello. Ignore me. Okay. Just going home. We're gonna hide. We're gonna hide it. What's your plan, mate? Where are you gonna hide the bird from your parents, which have not been shown yet, but still. <laughs> just look at that suave. So suave, just like moon slide in. Uh. Where am I supposed to go? What the heck? Why do I get, get... I'm turned around. I head downwards, I get turned around. Can I go in the bathroom, apparently? Put him in the bathtub. No. Put him in the sink. Put him on the toilet. Why did you want me to come in here, game? What? 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 What was the purpose of coming in here? Thank you, game. Uh, bird. Anyways, back to my bird story. Get it? Because it's a bird story. What's it? The umbrella's gone from this morning. Like, where'd the umbrella go? My parents weren't home. Someone stole our umbrella. Someone robbed us. <gasps> they took the umbrella. How dare they? What? Why? I'm confused. So confused. Why? I'm hitting enter, trying to interact with things. Not letting me do anything. Let's 
going on? There's no music. Oh. You wanted me to hit the light switch? <sighs> Thank you, game. Um, so, the, yeah, the dog did not kill the bird. I got the bird out of his mouth, and then I went to put the bird in some in like a tree or something so it could sit there until it healed, because it looked like its wings were fine. It just looked traumatized from being in the mouth of a dog. Um, I guess I'm going to go in my room. I don't, really, don't need to go to my parents' room. And I took the bird to the tree. Before I got to the tree, the bird jumped out and did like a flapping glide again, and decided to get and the dog which was not kenneled it saw the bird jump and try to fly away and the bird got chased after by the dog and the dog grabbed the bird again in his mouth and after that hello bird i'm talking to the bird in the game now uh and the bird once again was not injured and i yelled at the dog again and got the dog to give the bird to me and i threw the bird in the woods because it was an idiot and then the dog was kenneled and this is pretty much the end of my story it was a dumb bird who got caught in some fishing line and was hanging from it there. Maybe the bird just tried to commit suicide. I don't know. Uh, what's up, bird? Don't fall, by the way, because I don't think you can fly. You would not have a good time. Okay. Bird's just going to chill out, I guess. What am I supposed to do? What's the time? I don't know. Oh, bird wants water. Okay, so we've got to go to the kitchen or something, or the bathroom. There's no sink in this kitchen. What? What the? There's a lamp. There's a lamp. Like, shouldn't there be a sink here? No, there's a lamp. <laughs> oh, what the heck is this? That doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Um, not sure what that is. Apparently there's an only sink in the house is, or in the apartment is a bloody bathroom sink. Must taste great. Oh, we had to pick up the thing. There we go. There's a random bowl sitting on the ground. I will accept it. Getting my bird some water. I've actually had to deal with injured birds before. The ones that got attacked by cats. Uh, by cats, I mean our cats that would antagonize birds. Um, so, I've never, like, bothered with one, like I'm assuming will happen in this game. Bird, there's some water. Drink. Okay. Yeah, I've never bonded with a bird. Um, but I have taken care of some birds for, like, a week time. Or baby birds, for example, fell out of a nest, I usually try to put them back in the nest. Because they're idiots and they jump out of the nest thinking they can fly. And just, anyways, let's go back out. Oh, he wants bread. Now I gotta feed him too? Ugh. So, get some bread. I wonder what the muffin stat was. I don't understand. Yay, bread. Bread for the bird. Oh, where'd he go? I told you not to fall, you idiot. Great. End of game. Bird's dead. <laughs> Did the bird seriously go? Oh, okay. That's where I thought he would have been. <laughs> He's just being an asshole hiding from me. <laughs> look at that smirk. That weird look on my face. I like, squinted one eye and like, looked at the bird. <laughs> I like the little, it's like little subtle, like, one pixel changes, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm sitting here with a smile on my face, by the way. <laughs> Here's some bread, oh, I gotta hit both the arrow keys at the same time. There we go. Oh, I'm not gonna break it again. Oh, small pieces for the... Small bird, I get it. Okay. Just 
Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. Oh. Is the bird panicking? What's the problem? What's wrong, bird? What's going on? I'm coming. Give me a second. I have the aching feeling that this bird is just going to leave at the end of the game just by flying away like it never knew us. And it's only here for the food. But it'll still mean something to the the boy, I suppose. It's going to be the overall event. Oh. He wants to get to the other flying birds. It's a sense of longing of not being able to fly. Sorry, bird, but you're injured. You can't can't do that. I can fly with you. I have airplanes I fly with. Aw, bird's sad. Morning. Oh, the bird's gone again. Oh, no, oh, oh, he's just in that tree. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Did you drink all the water? Question mark. No, you can't come out. Oh, uh oh. It's never a good idea to have a bird in a house. Okay, did the bird hop in the bag or did you stuff him in? Oh, what the... Um... Okay, I feel like this isn't real. <laughs> my guess, my best guess would be this is not real. I think, I think little, whatever his name is, the boy, watched too much Mary Poppins or something. Okay, so yeah, there's no distinction in this game. Or a story. It's better to call this a story than a game, really. It's, all I'm doing is moving the character. Um, there's not much of a distinction between what's real and what's not. Which I wonder how that's going to affect, because this boy is the patient the patient for the second episode of the Tooth the Moon series. So... I don't know. Oh, there's a car here now, so there should be someone. Hello! So, the... The silhouette means you remember her outfit, the veterinarian's outfit, but not her face. Assuming this is a dream or some kind of memory thing, I don't know. Who knows what's happening? Really? I had to, I'm not your assistant, you turd. Squirt, squirt, and the bird's fine. Water. Uh, there it is. See it back there. There we go. You're just too lazy to move two meters. <laughs> so you gave it a bath. Uh, you need some... something. What did you need? Not that. Not that. Crap. I don't remember... I thought it had like a little nozzle on it or something. Oh, it's in here, maybe. Oh, there we go. Right there. Okay, here you go, you lazy. Yeah, I still don't know the context of this. Is this a dream, dream recognition, or dream relapse of memories, or I don't even, I don't know. Also, why does this boy have gray hair? Bird. Symbol. Okay. Yay. Is that all? Is this bird good? Is the bird bandaged? I'm assuming. Oh, I have to leave the bird with you? The bird doesn't like you. Oh, was I supposed to leave the bird here and then I'm just going to take the bird anyways, or what? It 
Why did I start walking out if I... Oh, it's a cage. I see. Okay. <laughs> Just stuff the bird in my backpack. <laughs> And the bird likes the bag, so... Okay. I suppose it's the bird wants to be free, in the, but the bird also feels safe in the bag. I don't know. Aww. sitting here with my bird. I'm assuming it's a weekend since we didn't go to school. Or just said fuck school. <laughs> but the bird is more important. So, I mean, you slept through school anyway, so really. The bird is more important. What is this now? It's still a cat on the board, except now it has like dimension drawings on it. Airplane. Is he gonna throw it? Pretend to fly with the bird? Keys are supposed to be. I hit space bar to throw it there. Oh boy. Where are you going? We're uh, on an adventure. Huh. So I'm curious because I know the doctors from To the Moon will be still be the playable characters in the second To the Moon game. And if this boy's a patient, are we going to be going through like the memories of this game? Because the that's how the game. That's how the Two of the Moon series works, I assume. Um, where the heck is this? What in the world? Oh, okay. No, I'm surprised I didn't recognize that before. <laughs> Just watching television with me. <laughs> oh. Now where's it gonna go? Oh, back here. Oh yeah, I can jump around in the puddles again. Jump with me, bird. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it's kind of weird how these games, the con cons games, but they're just atmosphere can make me smile. I'm just happy. It's so fun to do these silly things. Yay. <laughs> oh, sneeze. Maybe the bird was scared of the bird flu. Whee! Got it. So we're basically playing fetch with a bird. Oh no! Oh, okay. It's not a very good boat, but I guess I plus speaking. Oh, is it like pet day or something? Okay, what is this though? I plus speaking. Oh, eye contact and loud. No. I mean, loudness is kind of bullshit in speaking. Because in any, like, real, like, real life speaking event that you have to do, you will always have a microphone to speak with. So you never have to actually like, speak loud. You just need to put, like, emotion and uh, not be monotone. That's what's important with public speaking. Anyways, those are random little rant. Ice cream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you look like you have a problem. Oh, never mind. Some ducks. Oh. Where are they going? Oh. Shut up. It's a crosswalk. You're supposed to... It's pedestrians have the right to go, you idiots. Don't honk. 
Oh, so there's a stoplight, so... Anyways. What do you want? Oh, you want to go in here? Okay. I don't think you weigh enough, but... <laughs> what? Play with master. Chirp, chirp. Oh, God. What in the... Oh, we're going to the moon. Uh -huh. Get it reference. Man, this game is... Is any of this real? Like, is any of the bird real? Is it just all a dream? Is... I don't know. I doubt it is. Something would have to happen, but... Some parts of it are definitely imagination. Some parts aren't. This is the third time we've done this now. Oh, another bird gave it back. I think that's the first time it did that. Hmm. Okay. What do we need, like, bread or something? I'm guessing. Yep, we need bread. Cool. Just leave with it. Oh, darn it. I want to just walk out. <laughs> Where next? We're definitely viewing memories, because this looks, this looks exactly how memories looked in To the Moon, with the jaggy edges. So I feel like we're definitely in memories, but what memories are real and what are fabricated? I wonder if the To the Moon patient in the next game will have, will have like mental issues or something. Maybe he's schizophrenic. I have no idea. Who knows? I mean, the next To the Moon game probably won't be out until, like, 2020. <laughs> and To the Moon was, like, a four-hour game. This game's supposed to be an hour long. And it took, like, four years to come out. Oh, flashback. A flashback memory within a memory. Okay. Fine by me. Uh-oh. Okay. Was another bird going to get injured? Or is that my bird's mate? Or his bird's? Okay. Is that some gray or... Because my bird is more... Or his bird. <laughs> Even saying my... See, now I'm into the character. Now I feel like I am the character. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, my bird is more brown. That bird was gray. It's my bird now. Just going to call it that. My bird. Mine. All mine. That bloop sound effect was a water bottle opening, not the game. Okay. Just gonna throw a paper airplane or something. There's always this one shirt and this one like uh, towel hanging here. <laughs> Never anything else. Okay. So now we're on the roof. Or the roof, whatever you want to call it. So now are we making paper airplanes up here and throwing them, or what are we gonna do? Yep. I wonder how long it's been. Can the bird even get. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Controlling anything right now, it's just going on autopilot. Oh, are we making that big airplane from the beginning? I kinda wish I had a webcam right now to put in because I got this like quirky quirky smile on my face just in anticipation of what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, one more page. 
did he like tape them all together or what did he do? Okay, making a paper airplane. And this is like the worst kind of paper living airplane you can make. So you can make them like more complex ones that are awesome and they glide really well. This is like a generic one, but anyways, I don't mean to like be disowning his paper airplane skills. He's only like what, eight years old? <laughs> and that looks pretty sleek. Uh oh. Oh, it just floats there. Man, you're a, you should be an engineer. You made a giant paper airplane that just does whatever you want it to. And on an adventure we go. Oh. Past the moon. Okay, obviously this is imagination again. Oh, we can control it. Ooh, we're just floating around in the sky. Huh. It's a nice view. I don't well, this, from this view, it looks like you're not flying above the buildings. You're looking... It's like you're flying right by them, but from a distance, I mean. Just a weird perspective. Oh, we can change our altitude. We Down we go. Oh. Oh, man. This is going to be a view, isn't it? Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome looking. Oh, what's this? Oh, we're landing here, apparently. On a floating island. Okay. The power of imagination. Nope. Was the birds t commanding me? The bird says no, so we move on. Next area. Oh, very bright blue sky. Ooh. Now oh, we're just going on an adventure around the world. Oh, next one. Tropical island. Nope. This isn't what the word bird wants. So I'm just going on an adventure to see where the bird wants to live, I'm guessing. So the bird seems like it's fine now. Just coming along with me for the ride. I just got this feeling of wonderment right now. So, so interesting. Just like, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'm just thinking about it. There's a crater, awesome looking moon, shooting stars. Ooh. Oh, you want to live in a weird deserted palm tree? Why is there palm trees on this weird barren? There's no birds here at all. Oh. Okay, not there either. Just keep on moving. You know, if this game is an hour long, there's only ten minutes left, so... We'll see. Ooh, that's pretty. That'd be awesome to see in real life, like this, these kind of waterfalls. Oh, right down here. There's no trees here, there's eggs, though. there's a little nest. So we're looking for a nest then, or? Oh, is that what we're looking for? Did you have a nest in children? Oh. I didn't realize that. I mean, this is the last one since that was the last symbol on this hop. Oh. It's an observatory there. Oh. And then look around at the scene first. Cool looking mountains with some rivers. Be cool to go hiking around there just to see the sights. Seriously, look at that town. It's on two cliffs. Is this it? Isn't this. Oh. This is not it either. Oh well. And the sights were worth it. The clipper nodded its head. Look at this city. 
Is this a real city? Because this is an amazing city. Just on a bunch of cliffs. It's like, what's the word for it? Terraces. Like terrace farming, but terrace towns. That'd be a pretty big mountain, though. To support that. Where are we going next? Oh, just home. Done adventuring for the day. We visited enough areas in the world. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a neat feature. You should definitely be an engineer, kid. <laughs> I managed to make a paper airplane that destroys itself and does exactly what you need to and just flies around without any energy usage. He's smart. He's very smart. Or he's just crazy. And imagining everything. Either's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's the vet. The antagonist. Where the heck am I? Did you take my bird? You better not have taken my bird. bird. What the heck? What happened? Why did you break into my house? Or why were you let in? I don't know. Oh. Okay, you're never gonna find me. I mean, I'm in the middle of the woods. <laughs> I don't have the power to move trees. Suck it. Let's write some books. We're back in my bedroom. And we need to wake up. Okay. Huh. Hello, bird. What's up? Okay, well, that's not what we're supposed to do. I guess let's go over here. Nope. We're back in the woods. And the road. Oh, yes, got before it went red. Go in here, I'm assuming. Yep. Back to class. Oh, it's empty though. Uh oh. The damn vet. <laughs> What's this music? Ding 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 ding. Rodeo music. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just silly. Amazing. It's just like generic chase style music. Oh, perfect disguise. Perfect. Ah. Go. Oh, what well, now? I bent reality. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. What in the world? <laughs> Okay. Oh, now there's two of me. Oh, goody. Oh, and the other me does not have a face. What in the world? This is still this is still a story about a bird, apparently. And what in the world? I'm not controlling anything right now, by the way. It's just like cutscene. Oh. Okay then, well, that went from amusing to really weird really quickly. <laughs> what in the world? Hello bird, you look very contemplative, you've just been sitting there all day. Oh. Can you fly yet? Oh. Uh oh. That's not gonna be fun. But you got a place to stay dry, I guess. That's nice. Hello. This 
Music is ominous. You taking out the bandaging or what? What's that face? Looks like a sad face. I don't know what the symbol was. Like bird vet. I don't know. Like why does the vet want to steal my bird so badly? What's wrong with the bird? Is the bird need like higher care or need to be in a facility to get the wing? Fixed or surgery, I don't know. It's not really defined what exactly happened to the bird. Other than it has a hurt wing and it can't fly. We don't know the extent, extent of it, though. Um, yeah, no dialogue, so, oh well. There's a note on the board again. Is it a notice of, an, of eviction? Nope. Wait, it's the same as before. Except for without the bird. Or with the bird, I mean. I'm gonna put it back still. Yes or no? No, I'm taking it. Okay. Well, at least no one can steal it this time. Okay. Oh. We're in the woods. It's different. And we're at the traffic light. It's yellow. Whatever. Don't know why it's blinking yellow, but whatever. Walking through it anyways. I didn't get killed, so I'm fine. It would be funny if a car could have come and killed you, just randomly. Game over. R gotta restart from the beginning. <laughs> okay. Oh, what are you looking at? Oh, the vet. Is that a different bird or is that my bird? I don't understand. Like, is he saying goodbye to the bird so it can be healed, or I don't know. Slowly walking. Contemplating memories of sitting with the bird. Okay. It's like the slow walk of doom. You know you have to do it, but you... You knew you don't want to. Oh. Oh, my face is gone. What? Oh, last minute decision to say screw you again. Oh well. Oh boy. Are you the same person? I think you have the same or different clothes, so I don't think so. Quick, use your airplane. So is this the story of the boy running away, or what exactly? My face is still gone. Oh, my face is back. Is that my parent, I wonder? Oh. Goodbye. On my magic airplane. I actually think of the magic school bus. Oh. Oh, man. This is drama. So much drama. Okay. Oh! No! Oh no! Oh no! I mean, at this point, the plane would be spiraling out of control, by the way. Like, that would totally ruin it, but... Anyways, suspend my disbelief. <laughs> I mean, the physics of the plane doesn't make sense anyway, so I'll accept it. Are you gonna crash? Oh no! Oh boy, this isn't gonna be fun. Where am I going to wake up? Nobody knows. Falling. Where's the bird? Is it still in the bag with me, or where is it?
See, obviously that memory couldn't have been real. But is this one real with the paper everywhere on the ground? I mean, I just don't know. There is literally no defining what could... I mean, obviously there's certain things that you know aren't real. But then there's certain things you know could be real, but you don't know exactly. And they're all, and they all seem to be portrayed as memories, whether or not they were real events or not. There's still memories that are important to the boy. It seems like. Oh, did you find your little nest, or your island, or whatever? What the heck? Did that bird just take? One bird just flew away with a dead bird. I feel like that dead bird might have been my bird. So the bird died. That's sad. I'm assuming we just want to go back to the place where the bird originally was. Based on how reminiscing on memories works. Just walk on up here. And what will we find? A piece of paper. Okay. And flashback. Or something back. Okay. Yeah, now we're just walking along through the memories, I guess. So I'm guessing the bird is dead. What did that other bird carry it away, though? That was weird. I don't know. See, now the boy regrets not taking it to the vet, or to do whatever thing he didn't want the vet to do. Which I'm assuming was just meaning to take the bird away. Oh, I didn't have to open it this time. Wow! Amazing. Suddenly you're not lazy anymore. And neither of us stepped away. But neither of us looked at each other either. Hmm. Okay. There's another note on the door. Or the fridge, I mean. What exactly is that hole in the table? The thing I could walk under. I don't understand. Does he just collect all the notes and put them on his desk? That's, desk? That's weird. So it looks like there's a collection of notes on there. And the bird's not there. Aww. Oh, that's what he was doing in the beginning. He was looking for the bird. I see. Hmm. Falling into old habits. Or very recent habits. They're not really old, they're just recent. Now he's staring at the birds across the other apartment, I guess.
So much fading effects in this game. <laughs> Fade everywhere. <laughs> Making a last airplane, I guess. Oh. What was that sound? I heard chirping. Outside the window or something? Come on, get out of bed, you slow turd. Oh. Is that my bird or is that a different bird now? It looks like my bird. Hello, bird. Is that your mate? By mate, I mean friend and your literal mate. Mate. Oh, you can fly. Goodbye. My stomach is growling. I haven't eaten in like four hours. <laughs> this is in real life, I mean. Not like the stomach growling from earlier in the game. Oh, you have an airplane. <laughs> Wait, which airplane was that? Weird bird human hug. <laughs> Goodbye. Just throwing the bird away. Achievement unlocked tomorrow. Written directed by Can Reeves Gao. I don't know how to say his name. It might be Khan. That's it. Huh. Well. Didn't affect me emotionally as much as To the Moon did. But it's still very interesting. And there's still no defining of what's real and what's not. And there's still a lot of thematics and Bunches, bunches and bunches of interesting stuff. I guess if you watch this whole mo this whole video, it's like a movie. <laughs> Great music as always. Aw. of this, these floating islands. So repeatedly we had bunches of floating islands. So it's really pretty scenery right there, by the way. Interesting orange tree and a normal tree and then a the nest on the ground. Like what, why exactly the, they're like floating islands with nests on them? I don't understand. 
don't even know what to think. My stomach is growling still. I hope it's not being picked up by the microphone, but it might be. If it is, I am sorry. It probably sounds really silly and stupid. My stomach only growls when it likes to be an asshole. Or when it wants to be. Making a paper airplane then? Nope. Just putting the book away, I guess. Hmm. Reminiscing. Reminiscing. Oh. Finding paradise. Why does he have gray hair? So I'm assuming coming one day. <laughs> so Finding Paradise is the next to the moon game. And that's going to be you. And the patient in that game will be this boy. And it'll go through that timeline. I just put my hand through the air as if you can see my hand. <laughs> so yeah. That was... Oh. Crap. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to fix that in the video. Um... So that was to the moon, or a bird story, because I hit escape and it and it launched or canceled the game. Here, I'll fix that. There's an update for to the bird. Okay, never, never mind. Down the update. Um, my, my my bloody stomach. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, that was a bird story from Freebird Games. Uh, feel free to leave a like if you liked the video. Um, I mean, most of the video was not my content, but just me rambling while I play this game. Um, yeah, feel free to leave a like if you liked. Uh, uh, a bird story is available on Steam for like four dollars. Currently, has like a fifteen percent discount for a few days. So yeah, if you're interested in that, go and buy the game, experience it for yourself. Maybe get your own thoughts on it, own assumptions. And thank you for watching. <laughs>